How to Make Custom Interior Panels by David J. Guyton. Um, this is uh, my custom 65 Impala. Um, these panels are good for uh, anything interior. You've seen the, uh, the engine bay that I've done as well. I wouldn't suggest this for exterior panels, but this works fine for interior. Taking a break from uh, armoring for a little bit to uh, show you guys one of my hobbies, which is hot rotting. So I hope you guys like it. If you like this uh, video, please let me know in the comments and I'll try and do more of them. I started out by doing um, everything in paper, just like I do with my armoring projects. And I just have it marked off uh, basically the design that I want to make. And then this is 3 16 marker board. Um, the back side is uh, the same as you would write on a, a dry erase uh, marker board. Um, you know, at school or whatever. And it's basically uh, waterproof from the back, which is why I chose it. And here you can see I'm marking out some uh, spots where I need to make sure that uh, uh, it will lay flat against the door. So I have to cut out some of the pieces here. And now I am building up with foam board. Um, just uh, to make this thing a bit more three-dimensional and not so flat like the original uh, doors used to be. And here I am fitting it in the car, making sure everything fits. It doesn't interfere with any of the existing car parts. I should also note that the way these are held onto the car is I have some very small bolts that are embedded in the back of these parts, um, and they're held still with fiberglass. Um, and then there are corresponding holes in the door, which these bolt to. Here's the underdash panel. Uh, this is made in MDF, actually. It's a little bit stiffer and harder than the rest of the stuff. And I'm just fitting it against the car, making sure it fits everything. And um, for this, for these panels, I had to put some foam inside of it and carve it down in order for, for the uh, fleece to work properly later on. And so all of the other panels you see here, this is the one entire door for the passenger side, um, they're wrapped in fleece and then stapled from the back. And you can see they all are starting to have a three-dimensional look. Just ignore the pattern there, it's just a, a, a whatever fleece I could find. If you see my other uh, dash panel uh, tutorial, you'll see uh, the same exact uh, process. I'm just brushing in fiberglass fleece, or fiberglass resin into the fleece to make it um, uh, stiff. And I strongly suggest doing this while the parts are on the car, otherwise they're going to warp. So you definitely want to put them on the car and then do the fiberglass resin. And of course there's going to be some repairs to make and uh, stuff, so I use um, just fiberglass, uh, short strand fiberglass uh, putty, basically the same as Bondo, but it's got fiberglass reinforcement strands inside of it. And it actually strengthens um, strengthens the parts quite a bit too, so very important part to do. Again, we're going to be doing these parts on the car, otherwise they're not going to fit when you put them, try to put them in the car. And I would leave this for a couple of days, two or three days, before you take them back off. Here I'm trying to line up the parts to, um, to make sure that when the door's shut, the parts line up properly. And I do the bodywork um, like, uh, at, at that point, um, instead of off the car, to make sure they made up very well later on. Here I've, I've done the, the finishing bodywork body work on top, the Bondo on top. And you can see some of the parts are already finished there. Now the only thing I didn't teach you how to do in this video is um, how to wrap in the vinyl, which I'll put a link uh, at the bottom there to uh, link you to another video of somebody else who can show you how to do that. I would have showed you, but I lost the pictures for that part, so sorry. Anyway, it came out pretty well. I like it. Very modern interior. I like it a lot. And if you like watching people build stuff, I do mostly armor on my channel. 
Um, so come check that out. Make sure to subscribe and uh, leave a like on this video if you like this kind of thing, and I'll try to do more of it. Please visit ArmorTemplates.com to get the templates to build all this armor yourself in your own garage with normal, ordinary tools. And pretty please like, share, and subscribe. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.